Neil Robertson has made it to his first ranking final of the new season in the Oppo International Championship, beating three former world champions to get here. Graham Dott, Ken Doherty and John Higgins as well. As two very good games against Corin Wilson and Jack Lazowski and his opponent today. The current reigning world champion, the current reigning Masters champion, it's the ace in the pack, Judd Trump. Hello everyone and welcome to part 26 of our Neil Robertson Pro career on Snook 19. And today we play in the final, the first final we've been in so far this career mode. The ranking final, best of seven frames in the Oppo International Championship against Judd Trump for the prize of the trophy and £175,000. That is a prize that I wouldn't mind winning. I, to be fair, I wouldn't mind the 75 k but I would love to go on and win this. Now, I have to say, it's a bit bizarre and a bit weird, actually, that I, we're not we're playing Judd Trump because I thought that we'd be probably playing one of Ronnie, uh, Mark Selby or Mark Williams, being as they're the top three, and particularly either Selby uh, or uh, Sullivan, and that might well have been Higgins, but, of course, we beat Higgins... Uh, in the semi-final, but it tends to usually be Selby, uh, O'Sullivan and Williams that get to the final. So a bit of a shock to see Judd Trump in there, uh, but it'll be a good game against Judd. Again, we've played uh, quite a few big players. We've played uh, already two of the guys in the top eight. So this will be the third one, so it'll be a, another big test for us today against the Judd Nort, the ace of the pack. But given our form so far, it'll be absolutely fantastic, and as you can see... Uh, it, it, it just makes mockery, really, of where we finished in previous tournaments. Not really got anywhere, uh, but in this one, somehow, we've just really got off to a good start. And today, we're going to play the first part of the final, and it might well be the first and only part. Of course, it's a seven-frame match, the longest one we've played so far, and it's the first player to reach four frames. So if it's 4-0 today, then that'll be, the end of, uh, that'll be the end of the final. But we are going to play four frames today, and then play however many we need in Sunday's episode. Do I plan... Uh, as long as it's not a route today and it's not decided today, uh, I will put Sunday's episode as a premiere so you guys can watch along with me at 6pm on Sunday. So if you're watching this on Friday, Saturday or even early Sunday, um, make sure to check your sub box and watch along with me on Sunday. That'll be very exciting. But here we go. Judd and Neil have uh, sh shook hands. And it is Judd Trump to break for this first frame of the final. Now... I have to admit, I'm nervous for this. I really am. It's our first ranking final. It's by far a game with the biggest ramifications um, in our snooker 19 career so far. And from the break, Judd has very nearly snookered us. I don't think he quite has. But goodness me, we've got away with that, haven't we? But from the break, Judd Trump nearly snookered us. And it's a little bit thicker, um, just to make sure we don't uh, do anything daft with the cue ball. Come off two cushions again, it back up to bulk. I didn't want to hit it too thin just in case it was quite close to the uh, the corner pocket. But that's pretty good. It's pretty much on the bulk cushion. Uh, the reds haven't been broken up in that second shot by us. So, come at that one, Judd. Now, we all know Judd Trump uh, is one for his aggressive play. But uh, what really has progressed his game is his, uh, is his ability now to play uh, with a little bit more safety in mind. And to be fair, that is not a bad shot at all. But I think we can just about just nod this. Uh, let me just think, actually. If we go, if we go back up to bulk, it's not going to matter about that loose red because he's not going to be able to pop that. So this should be fine. I think. A little bit softer than I wanted. But because, actually, it's not too bad. It's up in bulk. And because of the position of the balls, I don't think anything's possible from there. So we got out of that situation uh, pretty well. Just playing that loose red as a safety. Certainly not bad at all. Comes back up the cushion and just off the bulk. Now luckily we can play to uh, the other side of the reds, which gives a bit more of a healthy shot in terms of its, uh, in terms of the ability to play a safety on it. A little bit harder than I want to, would have wanted to play it, but that should just be fine. It's pretty much in a similar position uh, to where it was before. And it looks like in this first frame, you wouldn't expect it with Judd, but we're going to have a little bit of a safety battle. A little bit thicker, I think, than he probably would have liked there, but it does the job. Is that going to come up behind the yellow? No, it's not. Now, first potential potting chance there, as you can see, but I'm not going to go for it just yet. I'm going to play another safety here. Tricky safety coming up. Again, a little bit harder, but absolutely fine. 
I'm just going to rest on the bulk cushion. I didn't want to go for that pot because if we missed that and Judd won the first frame in one visit, that would be, well, it wouldn't be the best way to start, but it would be a real confidence knocker. And as you see, we haven't left anything because of that. So it wasn't the bad shot to play at all. But Judd's uh, not leaving anything open either here. So it's really, I would say, until one player makes a mistake, this is uh, going to be a bit of a safety battle, which is nice, though, to start the to start the final. Adds a little bit of tension. A little bit softer on that occasion. So we be interested to see if we still get up to bulk. I think we won't have any problem with that. We won't quite get to the, uh, the cushion itself, but we're nicely placed there. In that you can only get to the sort of four or five balls that are on this side of the table. A little bit aggressive, I would say. That's a little bit harder, that one is. But uh, again, don't think he leaves anything. And we can't quite get over to that side of the balls now. But luckily, we've got a thin one down here, which we can just give a good nod and bring it back up. Pace is very important here. And he doesn't want to underhit this. Looks fine to me. And it could be a while yet, you know, because these balls aren't really moving in the way that you'd expect. It could be a while before we have a pot here. Great shot. But I, I do like a good safety battle. That's very aggressive, never mind. And, well, that's very aggressive from Judd. So scrap that as he got away with it. Surely not. A, well, I don't want to fancy playing anything into there. He might well have just got away with it. Oh, I, I don't like... I don't want to play a plant on one of them. I uh, don't think it would go anyway. Do any of these go? No, I don't think they... Unless they make contact with another one. Uh, does that one go? Ooh, I don't think it does, does it? So I think Judd Trump might have just got away with one here. Unbelievably. Let's have a look at this angle. I think that one goes, but we can't, we obviously can't get to the other one, so... No, that won't go through the gap. Would you believe it? Honestly. Quite incredible. How has Judd Trump got away with that? We can try this one on the top cushion, but it could be a disaster. I think that's what we've got to go for. There is no shot really here that we could play that's a safety. I don't think. No, not quite. No, Pretty haven't got the pots. Though, but that won't provide any solace. Well, bit of a shame. But does anything go here? I think it does. This pot yeah, it right certainly one. does. And there we go. Judd Trump gets the first pot of the match and the frame. Just closing the curtain there. Can't quite see the telly very well. I'm not going to use that as an ex as an excuse. But goodness me, did Tr Judd Trump get away with that or what? I might have been blind and not seen something that went. But the way that those reds broke, it is quite unbelievable that he didn't give an obvious chance. Eight. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Going for the yellow here and he's missed it. Well, well. We thought he'd got off to a good start. All of a sudden, never mind. Never mind that, Judd. Try and play this one soft. Uh, try and play this one down the cushion. Just try and get rid of that silly right middle pocket gap there. I want to play it quite soft though, just in case it's uh, not necessarily on target too well. Looks okay to me, and it's there. That's our first pot of the final. One. Big step that is. <laughs> not leaving anything easy though here really. Uh, I think it's going to be the brown we choose. Taking it on. A little bit tighter than I thought it might have been. This might be a mistake. Great Ooh. Shot. A little bit lucky, I would argue, there with that. Five. But it's there anyway. Judd definitely got his luck earlier on, so... We can use that quite happily. Hit this one a little bit harder. Sink this into the right corner. Good pot. That's a great pot. Really shocked that Judd missed... Uh, the colour there, I have to say. I don't think he's opened up a massive break here, but... He could have given us a chance all the same. Not a fan of these blues, but it's there nonetheless. Playing a bit of screw back, and it's worked out pretty ideally, I would argue. That red go, or do we have to go for the other one? No, we'll have to go for this one. Which is okay. Got to play with a screw back on this as well. There's no point trying to get into that pack of reds because it, it can only end badly. He's taking this on. That's good pot. Looks good to me. Green will probably go with here. 
gives a bit of a stride to pot and it makes a little bit of sense. But already nearly 10 minutes in here and amazingly not really got started. But some frames are like that. You can't just be whacking balls in every two seconds, you know. I, f I think that that safety battle was very exciting. Uh, I can't... <laughs> I still can't believe that Judd got away with that, really. I find that quite incredible. No more than half a chance here. But didn't take the chance in the end, and we're not doing too badly here. I mean, we're not exactly in frame winning territory, I'll accept that. But at the moment, we're not doing too badly. We're knocking balls in, and uh, we're playing with, I would say, pretty good confidence. Not confident enough to try and pop that blue, however. Try and play a little bit of side here. Just try and get it nice and soft. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. Good green. Just hope this doesn't go up behind the brown. That was my only fear. 19. But uh, it's okay. That red doesn't quite go there, does it? No. Hmm. Left ourselves a little bit precarious here. It has to be said. Don't think this one looks too bad to me. But if we do miss it, we'll let Judd in, but we'll have to no take kidding. that chance. Line doesn't look too bad. No, oh, close. that's close. heartbreaking. Miss, Just hit both jaws close. and, well, 19. it's our first miss of the final. No bother. Again, it was a bit of a tricky one. We went for it. We weren't in the best position. You can perhaps blame that, but let's see what Judd can do here. Can he clear up? He'd certainly get a bit of vengeance for that mistake early, which Not we would have ideally no. punished him for. Seven. But sometimes you just can't. You can't pot every ball, and there's no, no good worrying about that. 15. But the frame by no means over yet. Now still for six reds on the table, so still plenty of points to play with. And it only requires one dodgy shot by Judd. And that wasn't exactly middle in the pocket. That wasn't a little bit off, but it'll go. And now we've got the black, and he's missed that. Well, his accuracy, very much off today. But yet, amazingly, I think he's got away with it again. So you wonder whether he, he tried to play that pot or not. Now, I'm just having a look at this red. Does it get past the other one? I don't think it does, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, so I think it's safety time, really, unfortunately. Just try and get it behind the behind the uh, green and brown. Not much else we can do, really. That's way too hard. Not liking the look of that at all. No, I, I thought we needed that sort of oomph to get it up the table. We might have had some solace in blocking off that red that's close to the cushion, but we don't block the one that he's going for, clearly. And he's missed that as well. Goodness me, Judd. Well, the nerve's definitely coming in for Judd. He's looking to pop this. Even though, really, we've given him plenty of chances. What a top shot that is. But goodness me. That's a shock. Could it be on the black here? I wouldn't mind it. One. Yeah. Can get to the black. Need to hit this quite hard, though, ideally, to get it down the table again. Good black. Where's the cue ball? Oh. God, we should have considered that. We did get away with that. Eight. I mean, luckily, we still got position. But, Jesus. That would not have ended well. well <laughs> taking it on to the left I mean, we can laugh about it now, but if that had gone in the pocket... Goodness me. Nine. Can we get to the pink? Don't think we can. Not for a pot, anyway. So it's either the, the black, which I don't really fancy. I never really fancy those blacks in open play, to be honest, so... Not just because we're in the first frame of the final. Go for this blue. Usually fairly accurate with these. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he takes. Looks good to me. Oh, that, that line looked good. So close. Perhaps just a little bit on the hard side. If that was softer though, that would have gone. And sometimes, well, a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Judd's got to pot this though, and it's a good pot. Tremendous shot. He seems full of confidence at the moment. Two reds left, and it has to be said, 
Well, he's just played the, the Q through one of the Reds. That's interesting. But it has to be said that this has been a very close frame to start us off with. And goodness me, he's not left anything easy here, has he? Tried to play the safety. Well, I'll try. Try and get this red up the table. Uh, but hopefully get the cue ball behind the black as well. Or as close to as possible. Of course, doesn't snooker us because... Um, hang on. Is this going in? What a pot. And to be fair, we would, we would have snookered him as well. So that wasn't too bad at all. Uh, it would have been even sweet if we can get this black to the middle pocket. Oh, it's a little bit of a tricky one. I think we can. Oh, it's debatable though. And after such a good pot, it'd be such a shame to let it go. Uh, we can get to the blue, of course, so that's what we'll go for here. But that was a cracking pot on the red. I wasn't really expecting the pot, but I think the positional shot was uh, really, really good in terms of a safety. I'm quite proud of that. That's a good pot. And because of the position of the red, hopefully, as long as this blue doesn't block it, no, we'll be just fine. Tricky pot coming up. Not the easiest of pots. But it's there. That's a top shot. Well played. And now we're on to the colours. And really, I think amazingly, we're still behind Trump here. Seven. Yeah, still three points behind. Let's assess our options. There's nothing easy here. I think we might as well go for blue. Blue or bust. <laughs> might as well just play it a little bit down the table. It's not going to harm anything. Because we're not going to get prime position. But as long as we get ahead with this blue, uh, I'll be quite satisfied. But we don't want to leave anything too easy for Judge should we miss this. Looks a little bit inaccurate, and yeah, if we've missed it. Could just tell it was going a little bit too close to the one edge of the pocket. And it doesn't end well. But Judd can get this. It's very tight, I would say. A little bit of an awkward one, but he could get this, and I think he will. That's very accurate. Fair play. Well... He hasn't been very accurate so far this final. He's missed quite a few pots that you argue he should get. But is he going to win this first frame? Well, he misses the brown. I thought that was dead set to go in. My oh, goodness me. We'll definitely take that opportunity from him. And he's going to be howling with that. How far would he have been ahead? He'd have had what? We'd have had 35, we'd have had 47. He'd have only needed this blue, which is easy, really. And he'll be gutted with that. I'll say it's easy. He won't say it until we potted it. And there we go. But can we steal this frame now from Judd Trump as a result of that Miss Brown? Okay, it was close, but it doesn't matter. It'll come down to the black, of course. If we pot this pink, that is. But it's a little bit of a tight one. Looks good, though. This line does look good. And the pink is there. And, well, it's a really tricky black to leave, isn't it? Goodness me. We've got to go for it, though. Can't play a safety. It'll be a re... Uh, not a, well, it'll be a re-spot. Not a re-rack. That'll be a bit harsh, but it would be a re-spot if we miss this. Well, we did miss it. And, as I said, Judd Trump will pop this now. And it will be a re-spotted black. Goodness me, what drama just in the first frame. Not had a re-spotted black so far, I don't think, in the game. Uh, but we get first pick, if you like, first choice. So we're just going to go really as straight as possible. And uh, try and play the ball as thin as possible. That's the idea. Or maybe just play it up to the black. Not a bad idea. Pace will be very important. Could end badly. Not had much practice in this. But uh, it doesn't leave much on that, doesn't. I mean, okay, it leaves a very long pot, but if he gets this respect to him. Pace is critical here. Is he going for it or is he going for the safety? Well, goodness me, he moved that black a bit, didn't he? Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball? It's going to go in. Goodness me. And that's the frame. Well, that is unbelievable. What a way 
to decide the first frame. First off a re-spot. And then that black was never potted. Wow. That's, that's got to be a bad feeling for Judd. He won't like that at all. And you know what? I'm not bothered. <laughs> this isn't. Uh, this is a little bit close to the pocket, though. It's a bit precarious, but it's fine. But goodness, been had to wait off my shoulders. We've won that first frame. Uh, it has to be said, quite a few mistakes from Judd there. But uh, an interesting safety here. We're just going to play up to the red. That's an excellent shot. You can't do much from that. Did he try a double there? No, just a very good safety, to be fair to him. Well, excellent safety. I'm just going to play up to this red again. Safety battle continues. Don't think... Oh, well, that's a little bit hard. That's going to be a bit hard. And would you believe it, it's left something. Oh, that's annoying. It's Let's tight, but if anyone can get it, Judd can. Right that's place. really annoying. Just a little bit hard, left to red, and uh, now he's in. He's, now he's very much in business. One, four. This is not easy. Well, really, he could clear up from here. I know I've said this before, and players have gone on to miss the next shot. So that might be a bit of a jinx. Blue's fine, though. And there's a lot of reds that are loose here. A lot of reds that can come through either way. So I think he's got a good chance here. First time playing the black though this frame. Not got a good record with the black so far. I think it's fair to say. But oh goodness me. That's a very much a bit dodgy. But he's got away with it. Again unbelievably. And that's half decently on the black. That frame though will have definitely hurt Judd Trump. And coming back into it now would uh, do all the favours. But he's going to stop there. He's going to stop there. I have to say, I don't know why. Uh, they're all clapping, you know. Oh, what a brilliant safety. I'm not so convinced. I mean, look. For a kickoff, this goes. Half a chance here. That's yeah, tremendous. it's in. Hmm. Well, I don't think that will be a lot to swallow for Judd Trump. That would, I think. Now, the pink would be the... He's for the simple, the here. simple shot, the uh, the right shot here, I think. I was a little bit against well, playing it, but it's fine, pot. and that's a good pot. Seven. Good pot. Right, now we're in the money. Can we win two in a row? A nice soft pot on the red. Unfortunately, the black's right on the cushion now, so that's out of commission, and it will have to be a blue this time round. Try and uh, screw back into these reds, ideally. This requires good queuing. Got to be very accurate on this blue, however, and it's there. Not a fantastic split, but at least there's a few balls available now that wouldn't have been before. And that certainly wasn't too bad. Good pot again. Going to just tap that pink. And uh, doesn't really leave it open. But it'll have to be blue again. Or probably yellow on this occasion. I can take the yellow. Half a chance here. A little bit harder. What but we're not so much pot. top. We, don't, we still want that line to be half decent. And this needs to keep on going to be fair. It's not too bad. 16. It's okay. Again, not ideal, but it'll do. It does pose a bit of a threat, though, to this uh, this run, it has to be said. But this looks ideal. Man, it's middled. 17. Position, as you can see, though, not the main priority there. And uh, might be the yellow we go for again here. This won't be easy. And it's Fabulous. there. Absolutely Good pot. And we're well positioned for the red. And we're doing well here. I don't think the pressure of the finals really took its toll. 19. But it's not over yet. We're still behind Judd. 
And that'll do just to kiss on a few of those reds. The only way to beat players, particularly dominating, uh, playing dominating snooker anyway against these, to play unplayable snooker, in that you're just at the table, you win it in one visit, uh, and you stop them doing anything. And at the moment, the way we're playing, all right, we're not playing fantastically, but we're, uh, you know, we're, we're making decent breaks. We're missing shots that arguably our opponent, um, well, we're potting shots that our opponent would have missed. Um, but again, not the best from Judd, but this might put that into a little bit of question. I think we can just about get to the blue, luckily. Yeah, we can. A little bit of a tricky one, though. I'm not going to deny that. Long pot, right up his street. Oh, it's off. Well, we don't often miss those. But we were just a little bit off. Maybe a little bit more time needed on that one. A little bit inaccurate. Could have just tweaked that. But Judd Trump after that still ahead. And he could go level here. I think if we had that two frame cushion. Of course, again, it's a very close frame. Uh, if we were to get a two-frame cushion, it would make things a lot more secure. But if Judd was to win this one, 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 uh, he was to win this one, it puts the wow. scoreline back to one each. Half a chance here. Going for the blue though here, Close, and he's missed it. I fair. thought he would, you know. Played that way too hard. Leaves a nice positional shot, so thanks. But he's uh, not playing the best snooker so far. Very much the scratch, to scratch, <laughs> smash and grab, uh, Trump that. We, we've known previously. It has to be said that doesn't really play with much consideration for anything else. Now, don't snooker yourself behind the bloom. That should just be fine. We want to make him suffer for that miss because that was definitely the wrong shot to play there. And at, and at, that, spy, at, at that pace, you know, we've played a few dubious shots so far, but nothing ridiculous. And uh, I think we've played better than Judd so far. No, I'm just going to suck it up and go for the green. But uh, this last red on the cushion is not going to be a nice one, so we're just going to have to pope and pray that something comes here. We're certainly not going to get any pot in position on it, but we can try and do something with it. We can just probably play the classic play up to it, and to be fair, it wouldn't be bad if we played it that way. Of course, it would be uh, impossible for Judd to get to the pocket unless it moves... Uh, like that, really. Yeah. He's going for the safety, though, here. Nearly worked, to be fair to him. Great shot. That's a really good safety. We're going to do the classic again, just play up to the red. Hopefully it's soft enough not to have much effect, but it has. Well, that's the risk we play in those shots, but another safety here from Judd, unless he is going for the pot. If he was going for the pot, it would be quite a poor attempt. But goodness me, he's left it on again. From a pot, really, you know, from a shot, that I don't think we played anything in terms of fantastic safety there. But he's left a pot that's relatively easy on, and we've taken it. Not been the best so far this final Judd Trump, he needs to get into it. I hope, I, I do hope that it's not Just linked to the difficulty. To the uh, we've got market. difficulty on medium rather than hard. Uh, uh, and I just hope that doesn't have an effect on the players so much. Six. Just worrying, because I, I haven't seen a century yet in the game, for example. Um, now, you'd be thinking against certainly the calibre of player that we've played against. Oh dear, that being said, we've missed that. Uh, the calibre of player that we've played against so far, you'd think that one of them would have got a century, but they haven't. Six. Might be coincidence, to be fair, we haven't played that many frames. But uh, I think he's trying to go for a double here or something along those lines. Is he going to get a treble? Is he going to get it? I don't think he quite is. Was he going for the snooker there? Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, he's managed and I think he's got it. Well, here. would you add him and Eve that? We've come off that cushion. I don't think it's going to be any anywhere near, is it? I think he's looking at we'll the have a go. Risk escape here. Oh, no, we've escaped. Yay. Unfortunately, it leaves a pot on, but what can you do sometimes? Not what he intended. You know, the, his accuracy today suggests he might miss one of these colours. This looks relatively straightforward. Won't miss the green or the brown, to be fair. 
Well, green he could miss, depends on his position. But no, that's a, that's a good position on the brown. Didn't get caught on the other side of the table. Perfect on the blue. And after the blue, the pink will secure the frame for Judd. And if he misses this one, well, it would be a big miss. But Trump brings it back to one each. And it was that yellow that decided it. He's cleaned up all the colours and fair play to him. It's now one each. That's the frame in the bag. So, it won't be decided today. There will be a video on Sunday. <laughs> it would have only been if uh, we'd have won all the frames. So, yes, yeah, those of you asking, well, if it's free one, won't you just play another one? No, I'll play it on Sunday. Because I think it would be only fair. Because uh, I don't really want to risk sort of playing that frame. Then if we don't win that one, oh, we'll just play another one. And then in effect, you have a seven frame video, which is uh, a little bit ridiculous. But Judd leaves some reds on here, so... I think there's a good chance on this one, so we're going to go for it. And it's there. Great start. Let's make sure we win this one. We don't want to go behind. Because if we go behind and then lose another frame, of course, then Judd's within one of winning the title. And it really, I think, just limits the amount of shots you can play then. Because you get all worried thinking, well, you know, if we play this one, it could be our last one. It could be our last shot. But at the moment, to be fair, we're doing just fine. Now, can he drop this into the just can't gloss on that yellow that we missed. It wasn't an easy yellow, no issues there. but it's one we probably should have potted. But if you get all gloomy the than moment. about that, then, you know, Six. you're going to miss something. It wouldn't be a good final if you didn't miss anything. That's ridiculous, but if you're playing uh, snooker and winning every frame and getting centuries, it'd just be boring, wouldn't it? I'm just going to play this a little bit harder. Want it to get to the pocket. It's there, good pot. Twelve. That end red will go fine. Good pot. Pink as well, I think now. Yeah. Thirteen. Stay on those high card colours and all of a sudden the frame was a lot quicker. Play this nice and hard, to be fair. Try and try and move a few of these reds. I'm fairly confident about the pinks. So I haven't really got to worry about that. And if we hadn't have done that, we wouldn't have got position. So sometimes you just gotta you just gotta go for it. Yeah, that reds goes nice. Played it a little bit softer in the end, and maybe that might be to our peril. Might be to our advantage. Pink will go. Yeah, no problem with that. I don't remember ever playing a brown, I have to say. That's bad, and I can't remember playing that brown. I'm going to try and just hit that blue here, because ideally we want to get position on one of these reds that we broke away earlier. So hit the blue, that's a little bit... That's way too much on the blue. Was just a bit of a tap to slow the cue ball down. No bother. Because I think that one will go. I'll just check, that's the one on this side, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it will. Not the easiest to pot, but it would certainly play dividends if we got it. What we've learned to do, though, is play this one nice and soft. And it's there. What a pot. Really impressive queuing. Good stuff. Got to sacrifice for uh, one of the bulk colours here. It's going to have to be the blue, unless we can get to the pink into the middle. Nah, it's a little bit too narrow for... My liking, and we will go for the green because the um, blue looks very tricky. And no if we to miss that, then it would be a bit of a, a worry. That's an no, didn't really need that to be that hard. There's definitely a red that goes, no problem. But yeah, it would be a little bit too hard for my liking. Just check that this red does go. Yeah, no problem with that. Be conscious of not overhitting this. Hang on, just check Pace the angle. Yeah. Oh, you tool. You tool. Why didn't I... I played that way too quick. Yep, angle's and fine. Hit it. <sighs> Stupid punker. Played that way too quick. Obviously, that was never going to go, but I didn't check. Well, is that Judd's way back in? Potentially, no. <laughs> That's the answer. No. But what I was going to say is that prior to that, Judd, had, Judd hadn't had a chance since we uh, come to the tile for the first time. 
Obviously, uh, we got that first red from the break off. Now, does this red go up the top? Yeah, it does. Would be a good pot, though, from here. And we'll try and combine a little bit of safety within it as well. We'll know pretty much straight away here whether it's going to go. It looks like it's got a decent line. And oh, it's there. What a pot. Is. Fantastic. Go for the brown here. We usually go for the yellow, but we'll go mad and go for the brown, eh? Ooh. This is very hard. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? We're just about fine. Good stuff. Again, we didn't need that to be so hard, did we? Starting to see a few worries coming through. He just wants to slot this into the middle pocket. This should be fine, I think. No. Goodness me, what was that? We usually have them shots bob on. Our accuracy, if you've seen from previous episodes, is pretty much fairly good. It's just our position that's lacking. But in the last few shots, we played really well so far. But in those last few shots, we, we've bottled it a little bit. Six. We only gave away one point when we uh, missed the first one. But now we've missed that one. And well, we might give a few more away. Seven. Fourteen. I'd hate for Judge to steal this frame like this. Nicely onto the black. Fifteen. Twenty-two. 23. Nicely played. 30. Doesn't want to ever hit this. He just doesn't look like missing, does he? Although position here is not the best. But then again, he's potted that. I don't see him missing anything now. I think he will steal this frame. 38. And that's a killer. Never know, it's not over yet. Not sure he snookered himself on that one red. So this is a little bit tighter than expected. Wonder why he's playing that sort of angle. He's trying to play a safety here. Has it worked? Let's have a look. It has, hasn't it? Well, he's got it. Great shot. Well, he's Good got it. Right. Cheers, Dave. Very tricky this is to get out of now. <laughs> That's going straight in the pocket. Don't worry, I wasn't going to go for that. Try and just play it off the cushion, but my cushion sense to get back to a, to a red is crap. Oh, that wasn't too far away. He'll play on from there, because that's not too bad on that red. But that's where that's where our weakness definitely is. Not the best in terms shot, of safety. If we get a snook if we get snookered, then that's our weakness. But he'll play on from here, because that's a decent position. And he's got the pot. That's a so any worry he had before, well, what? he's not gonna have that anymore. Because all he needs well, now is a red and a colour. He'll be pleased with well, that. he's just played that. Safe. Soft there, not touching ball though, so he'll be a little bit annoyed about that. This looks he'll probably try and pop this now. Look, again, too hasty. Might be wrong, he might... No, he's just tried to play a safety there. I don't know why he's bugging about with this, really. Not the best chance of a pop, but to be honest, I don't see what else we can do. On the pot along the cushion. Well, we've trumped him. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that was dreadful. And we're back in it now. Well, that is a bit embarrassing for him. And this brown should be okay. Yeah, got a good line. And we were well positioned for the yellow there. So now we are on to the seven colours. Pretty straightforward shot and here. here comes the yellow. Good pot. Green should be fine as well. Screw back for the brown. Seven. 
And then, uh, well, we don't need to screw back for the. Well, we do slightly, but uh, not too much. This should be pretty simple. That's probably the worst position we could have got for the brown possible. We didn't hit it hard enough. I know it was only a few percent, but a few percent can really matter. So uh, this makes this very tricky now. Could just play up to this black, uh, this brown potentially. Might make a mistake here because our safety play is never usually very good. Neil Robertson. I mean, he can get that into the pocket. Is he going to get it, or is he going to play a safety? Fair play to him. He just played like a treble there, didn't he? It wasn't a double, I don't think. Well, fair play to Trump. And from a 1-0 lead, Nuss going, well, you know, it could be because of the um, difficulty rating. But you have to say, we've really bottled two frames. And I think we would be lucky, depending on how we play in the next frame, we would be lucky to come out of this session... Um, with it being two each, to be honest. Well, so I think we have um, bottled this a little bit. Particularly where we were after the first frame. You know, you have to... Oh, that's way too soft. We need to just compose ourselves here. We're really being sloppy. Um, yeah, I am. I just need to play just a, uh, just a lot slower. So this pot's but, I mean, we've ball. left him a straight pot. We might not be able to play any slower. This could be our last shot of the session. Well, after winning the first frame, you wouldn't expect this, would you? Eight. But uh, he's, tr he's uh, not done anything great there. But equally, that's not too bad. Has to be said. That's an excellent shot. And hopefully this safety will be our first good one of the day. Touching ball, so... Okay, fair enough. Touching ball. Interesting, so we just played pretty much exactly back to where it was. In which we'll just reply with exactly what we did before. He doesn't want to play this with it would really hurt face. this wood if we lost this frame. This is pivotal, I think, to win. I know we don't deserve it, but it's not a question of deserving it. It's a question of, look, you've got, we've got to win the frame. Or else it could be curtains for us in this final. As you can see, we're uh, just trying to, well, just trying to really move the cue ball. So we've reset set the spin. I don't think this cue ball should go in the pocket. I don't think. Just got to hit this quite hard then, unfortunately, so that it bounces off the cushion. But this is a pot I do fancy going for, so we are going to go for it. And it's there, what a cracker. And we are on the blue. I mean, it would have been good position for that red, to be fair. So we might have to compens uh, compensate here, go for the green. And then uh, get half day's position on the red. But actually, no, I think unless we're on that cushion, we're not going to get a good position. And it's, it's something that's not really worth playing with, I don't think, personally. Give it a good whack and get in the, get into the pack. Needs to strike this well. Are we going to move anything? Game. No, not, not really. We needed top to be able to move anything, to be honest. And this shot depends on you're not playing with any pace. top. It makes things quite tricky. So touching ball again. Going to do exactly what he did earlier, I think. Neil Robertson. Six. Yeah. Touching ball. He's looking to get the cue ball safe and tight to the cushion here. Still to uh no, there's nothing on here. Pace is the key with this shot. Very well. Oh touched. well, now he's touching ball. We're gonna copy him here. Of course, it either has to hit. I think it has to hit a cushion, doesn't it, when it's touching ball? I think. That's why he went over to that cushion. Oh, you can't just snooker someone off a touching ball, I don't think. You can't just play it just behind a ball. Oh, controller batteries are low. Apologies for that. But, oh my goodness me, Judd, what was that? I mean, thanks for the position and all, but... Wow. 
Very bizarre. One. I don't think he meant that. Somehow. Gonna apply the classic here. They all love that one. Certainly wasn't going to do anything there, were we? So, and to be fair, he's played a pretty good escape. I'll give him that. Well, I think this long, yeah, this end red does go. Yeah, the angle's fine on it, I think. So this could be a chance. It's there. Good pot. Right. Let's just focus on the next shot. Let's not make any hype. Oh, we're going to win the frame. <laughs> Good brown. Not the shot he was aiming for there. I was aware we weren't really going to get on anything here. Five. Try my best to get off decently in. Though, now if we hit this red, it does leave. No, it doesn't leave that red actually, so we're okay. Oh crap, we don't want to hit it that hard. God, that would uh, mess us up. As far as I know, I don't think anything goes. No, just playing a safety. Oh, I thought he left that red there. Great shot. Good eye short. Should play a safety of our own here. He's attempting to get the white tight on the cushion. Now hopefully this gets behind one of the colours because it does leave a, a pot on else. Go on, just behind the brown. That'll certainly do, I think. Oh, will it? I don't know. We'll soon intended. find out. No, we've actually snookered him, so clap, clap there. And whilst that's not the worst escape in the world, probably better than we could have done, he does, unfortunately for him, leave a red on. This is really tricky. One. Hmm. Tight black or a bulk colour? I think bulk colour is probably the answer here. This is an easy. That'll do. And I think we've got a pot on. See the red next to the pink? That will go, won't it? It's a risky one, but you've got to just well, type. You've got. Ooh. Half a here. Well, I'm a bit worried about that sort of camera angle. It's kind of like a sign. Don't play that. What are you doing? Well, we won't know if this goes in or not. Has it gone? It has dropped. God knows what that camera angle was. Maybe they thought we were going for a safety. But unfortunately, we'll never ever see that pot. What a shame. Well, just know it went in between the two pockets and it went into those pockets. That, that's all we know. Just like that yellow. That was a good example there. And another red on here. Seven. Now ideally we play this soft and get on the black, but I'm never that technical. No, just a little bit more power needed, but the blue will do. Definitely. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. Good blue. Now get this down. And we might play the one on the cushion. I'm not sure. We'll see what options we've got. 13. Certainly none of these. Oh, well. If we potted this, that'd be a brilliant ball. This really is tricky. Not the most confident, but I think we are going to go for it. Doesn't look half bad. And it's there. What a pot. Fantastic. And even better, can we get through to the black? Oh, we can't. Well, sometimes you just have to face that, don't you? Good 
And we've got into the reds. Hang on. Hang on. Where's that red going? Stop! <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. Just wants to make it clear. Uh, but that has been fairly good. I'll take that. And we are on the black. That will do. Twenty-one. Got to keep focus for a few more balls. A fair few more balls, but let's gloss over that. Stop again, stop again, stop again. Twenty-eight. We can get position this time, yes, we are. Few. Good pop. Back on the black. Back in black. Back on black. No, it doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> uh, right. Ah, luckily we've got that red up bulk. Uh, but will we save that one for later? We could go for that one into the middle, but nah, not today. Particularly as a one frame back. Easy one, but a half chance. Good pot. And again, we could get a pot on the pink if the addition did. The additions? <laughs> Positions are decent. And it is, so, yeah, well, we'll go for that. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. Good. Positions there as well. Nice. Beautifully done. Excellent queuing. 43. This is probably, I think, our best break of the final so far, so that's nice and encouraging. Of course, pink and black. Well, you could go for the black, but... 44. You could go for the black. You could go for the black. That's not a bad shout. We will go for the black. Very could miss it. Just seems too tempting to go and lose. But unfortunately, we've potted the black. But position's not fantastic. Although, it, it, it could certainly be worse. So there's three reds left on the table. So that's, what, 24... Uh, points on those, and then 27. Um, so we've got, hang on, so we've got the three reds, so three points, we've black, so that's 10, 17, 24. I think there's only 51 points left on the table, if of, well, yeah, I'm sure there is. He's playing the pot here. I think. We're going to go for this red, which is really? there, and that's a fantastic pot. 52. And I think that has just confirmed the frame. So you might as well just go for this pink. Give it a try. Give it a whirl. Well, he's playing this into the left middle pocket. Looks good. And it's there. No, we're not really going to have a chance of getting any of these reds, I don't think. Unless we play a fancy pants double. Give it a whack. Nah. Oh, well. I mean, he can try and snoop cross, but how many points are left on the table? Not many, that's what I can tell you. Yeah, 43. He might play on, but he's decided not to. And, well, isn't this tasty? As we go into the fifth frame, um, yeah, I'll let him break off, because I can just save it uh, once he's broke. But going into t on Sunday's episode, which will be a premiere, which means that uh, it won't be live necessarily with me playing live, but... It will be a video that you can watch live at 6pm with me and the other guys who watch the video uh, in the chat and talk about the game. So that will be very exciting. But until then, it's 2-2. Two, two, and this is where we're going to leave it. So, will it be two frames? Will it be three? I think this looks like a very exciting episode for Sunday. And I can't wait. I've been TIJ Gaming and I'll see you guys on Sunday for that video. Goodbye for now.